question that we may be asked, why are you a Muslim? Why is it that you have chosen the faith of Islam? Many people born Muslim have probably not even thought about it. But a day may come when someone might ask you, and you might not have thought of the deep reasoning, and so you may not have, at times, perhaps, due to lack of knowledge, a convincing response. And if you have embraced the fold of Islam later on in life, mashallah, congratulations, may Allah bless and grant goodness not just to you, but to all of us. And may Allah bless humanity at large and guide us all. Ameen. But we need to know when we say La ikraha fiddin, repeating the verse of the Quran, the words of Allah, there is no compulsion in deen, in the religion. What does it mean? It means no one can force you to enter the fold of Islam. Once you enter the fold of Islam, you have adopted something through your own free will that you have chosen as your faith. And there is a set of rules and regulations that are unaltered, not changed. You have no right to come and start changing things and chopping and still call it Islam. Islam is a religion that has been set by Allah, the creator, the maker, and the messenger, peace be upon him, related it to us. Those rules and regulations collectively are known as Islam. But if I come and I say, I'm a Muslim, I am required to follow that set of rules and regulations. If I think that no, I don't agree with X, Y, Z, then is it fair to call yourself a Muslim? That's a question. Because people come and try and change things and bring that which goes against the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they say, no, but I am Muslim, by the way. By the way, by what way? You'd rather be honest and say, look, do you know what? I don't agree. And that's it. Yes, if there is a question in your mind and you are inquisitive, it happens to everyone with ignorance that sometimes you are a Muslim, but there are a few concepts you may not have grasped so well. So all you need is enlightenment. And all you need is a little bit of knowledge and you will get the answers. So that doesn't make you a non-Muslim simply because you haven't understood a thing or two or you haven't grasped some aspects and concepts of Islam. But as time goes on and you learn and you continue to ask and you find out and you begin to grasp it better, you become consolidated in your faith. And this is why it's important to have knowledge. Yes, the pillars of Islam, those are known as you were entering the fold of Islam or if you were a born Muslim, as you grew older and you became a teenager, you became an adult, it was your duty to start finding out even prior to that actually. So the pillars, no compromise. When it comes to the in-depth teachings, you may not understand some of the concepts because not everyone is that knowledgeable. So Allah says, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ وَالزُّبُرِ If you're unaware of revelation, if you don't know and you're ignorant and you don't understand, perhaps ask those with knowledge, ask those who know. They will respond to you with evidence and at the same time, it will enlighten you from the ignorance that you had of the revelation.